Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Frybat, Friday Beers and Tools with Andy. Uh, this week got a special announcement to make, but first the beer. This week's beer is a New Zealand one that I haven't tried before. This is the uh, Great Uncle Kenny's Amazing Wacker Changi Lager. It's from Nelson in New Zealand. Never had it before. I'm quite sure Rita knows it. Let me know what it's like, Rita. What do you think of it? Let's see if the Kiwis can make a decent lager. Happy Friday. Oh, that's different. It's actually pretty good. Sounds surprised. Kiwis. Um, yeah, it's actually a, a very nice lager. I uh, bought this from my local bottle shop, just trying something different. Um, trying to find different uh, beers to, to try and review for you. Uh, what can I tell you about the Wacker Changi? Interesting name. Um, it's uh, 1.3 standard drinks, standard stubby size, uh, and 5% alcohol, so it's up there. You wouldn't want to have uh, many of these while you're driving. Mm. Pretty good. I don't have any problem with it. Spanners. It's quite hopsy, which is not not in a bad way. Like nice flavour. I give that a solid four out of five on my spanner rating. Good on you, Uncle Kenny. Great Uncle Kenny. Pretty good beer, it says on there. Alrighty, let's get into the tools so I can tell you about my big announcement this week. This week we've got another uh, cheap Chinese um, tool. This one's from eBay. This is a right angle drill extension. Um, you will recall that I already have a Milwaukee M12 right angle drill. Um, and I probably should get it just to compare the size of this, but this is certainly a cheaper option if you don't already have the Milwaukee, any of the Milwaukee range. Um, this was only $23.59 delivered from eBay. Uh, it is 15.5 centimetres long, or 6.1 inches. Uh, it is 9.8 centimetres across the front, or 3.86 inches, and it's a whopping 4 centimetres wide, uh, or 1.57 inches. The chuck is a keyless chuck, and will take 0.8 mil through to 10 mil, or for you American types with your inches, 0 0.031 of an inch, up to 0.393 of an inch. It's aluminium construction with a heat treated steel shank up the center. So this plugs into your normal drill and uh, it runs at a maximum of 1500 RPM and 25 Newton meters of torque. Not a lot of torque, but then again, I guess if you're trying to get into a tight space, um, yeah, yeah, you don't want to be transmitting a lot of torque through a little right angle gearbox. One of the beefs I have with it is the size of the chuck. Uh, I think a smaller chuck would be much better um, because the distance, once you put a drill bit in, you're getting up there for uh, a small drill like the M12, um, even the normal M12 drill. Um, I'll grab the M12 and compare it for size. Alrighty, a few episodes ago you'll recall, hopefully, uh, I reviewed my M12 right angle drill and uh, this, I thought this would be a good comparison. So, actual distance between the back face, especially working in a tight area, and the face of the chuck, 
of course you still have to have a drill bit might be easier to put them on a table like that very very similar the win actually goes slightly to the M12 Milwaukee um, but that wasn't very cheap and you have to have the Milwaukee batteries this is a very cheap handy thing to add to your uh, kit and can use a normal drill on the end of it would be a little bit more uh, ungainly to use um, but as I said probably my biggest beef is the size of the chuck a shorter chuck would be much better because of course once you get even a shortened drill bit into the here you've still got a fairly large distance there also just to compare this is the um, Milwaukee fuel this is a hammer drill so I believe there is a smaller um, Milwaukee M12 um, um, drill but you can see the size advantage and you know, I like this gear because it is small and you can get into tighter spots with it uh, but that's uh, that's the next level again so what do I give my cheap Chinese eBay right angle drill uh, for value for money at $23.59 it's affordable to buy and throw in your kit uh, that's why I did even though I've already got this uh, and probably this would be my go-to um, but certainly this is also very handy to have in your kit uh, so for value for money on my beer scale it's a solid 5 out of 5 for value for functionality um, again possibly I could get us a, a shorter chuck which would make it even more useful um, but for functionality as it sits um, I think it's a good four and a half out of five uh, the bearings seem to be pretty good in it reasonably quiet can you hear that up against the microphone um, yeah so handy little tool all right before I get on to my big announcement I'll have some more beer and I wanted to give you an update on the uh, printer the 3d printer has been uh, been running fairly flat out a couple of uh, episodes ago I showed you some of the Milwaukee battery and tool holders that I've been making um, the printers currently going nuts making these for me there's a fair few hours of printing there I can tell you right now um, I think by themselves each one of these when you're only printing one takes about three hours when you print two together actually it takes longer than six kind of strange uh, what I'm printing is what they call a, a one by one parts box um, I'm going to build a cabinet in my retirement um, and use these so I'm going to as you can see I've already got about eight already printed out there um, I think I've got ten um, and uh, they also come in different sizes uh, again this came from the Thingiverse website that I was uh, mentioning previously uh, somebody has already designed these in a 3D um, designing program and then provided them as a free uh, copyright free for individual use not for sale um, which you then can print out there's also I'm currently printing I haven't got any finished yet but you can print uh, one by two so double the length effectively like that and a two by two so effectively that size but without the dividers of course I'll print them in different colors and I'll show you those as my printer progresses all right now onto the big news kind of excited about this I need more beer today Friday the 10th of July Tracy and I are very excited to uh, announce that we are the proud owners of a home in Tasmania we have bought ourselves a property um, nice little three bedroom two bathroom uh, brick property um, I'll put a map up here or here might make it the whole screen and zoom in for you showing you where Tasmania is for those overseas that don't know where Tasmania is of course you've always you've all heard of Tassie Devil there is actually a creature called the Tassie Devil and I'll put a photo of that up here too um, so here it is Uh, obviously I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is but we have bought our property in the Tamar Valley which is in the north of Tasmania and 2.2 uh, acres and uh, as I said three bedroom two bathroom 
Need some renovating, need some work, but of course that's what I'm uh, looking forward to and excited to do in my retirement. Um, but probably most excited about the fact that I have enough room to build my dream Gray's Build shed. Uh, I have decided on a 12 by 18 metre shed. That gives me a total of 216 square metres or 2300 square foot of shed heaven. Um, yeah, I've been playing with a program called Floor Planner, uh, just sort of getting an idea of the layout. It's going to have a uh, man cave bar area uh, along with a, um, a studio and uh, office and even a toilet and shower. So. Uh, I don't ever have to annoy Mrs. Gray in her house. I can stay in my shed if I have to. Uh, it's going to be lined. Tasmania does get quite cold compared to uh, uh, most of Australia, um, but nowhere near as cold as, uh, um, it certainly doesn't get snow anywhere there, but it does get cold. Uh, anyway, so here's a few photos of the property. That's the front of the house. That's the front yard set well back from the road, beautifully treed, already got a bit of gardens going on, we'll be creating a lot more gardens, veggie patch, etc. And the backyard view from probably the shed on my left there, looking back towards the house. Can't wait. Very excited. Uh, from today, it's only 441 working days, not that I'm counting, and I get to retire to Tasmania and build my dream shed. Anyway, that's our excitement for this week. Um, that deserves another beer, or another drink anyway. Hope things are good where you are, uh, things are good with us, uh, very excited about the future, and uh, I hope you're having a great Friday. Anyway, thanks for watching, as usual, please like, share and subscribe, and uh, pass it on if you think somebody might be interested in uh, any of the review of the tools that I'm doing, and uh, we have more content coming uh, for Project Brutus. Um, and also we'll be getting back onto the quad bike, the Honda quad bike project as well. Anyway, that's it for today.